Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Laurent Ferrier Galet Traveler in 18 karat white gold. You can see and you can purchase this white gold micro rotor dual direct impulse escapement manufacture movement Galet Traveler on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Laurent Ferrier Galet Traveler. Now the watch is 41 millimeters across the round of the case. That's not inclusive of the crown or the hour hand quick adjusters that you'll see at 10 o'clock and 8 o'clock. The watch in terms of thickness is mostly thick by virtue of its tall domed sapphire and dome shaped bezel. So at 12.9 millimeters it's neither thick nor thin but because of its profile it does slide easily underneath a dress cuff. From lug to lug this one measures 49 millimeters so it's not a traditionally sized dress watch rather it's a dress watch with a sporty sixth gear. This watch can wear well in casual attire not just by virtue of its size, which is contemporary, but also by virtue of its color scheme, which is potent, with dark blue dial, with light blue cyan highlights, and of course the white metal case in tandem with the beautiful navy blue alligator leather strap. This watch is a technical and aesthetic marvel. Now that you know the dimensions, let's talk a little bit about the case, how it's shaped, and the strap that's attached to it. The case features short lugs. You can see they're beautifully rounded, tightly downward swept, so that they do sort of wrap themselves around a smaller wrist. I would say though my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can wear this watch on a wrist as small as I'd say 14 and a half to 15 centimeters in circumference. The strap features a little bit of swell and a sheer cut as it approaches the swell of the lugs, but it thins out pretty quickly. The alligator leather and on the opposite side, the suede calfskin are both very soft, so it's a brand new factory strap that's tanned in such a fashion that it feels quite well broken in right out of the gate. Now the buckle is a simple, low profile, classically styled, easily adjusted white gold pin buckle assembly. Again, that's very much in classical style. The rest of the watch, however, is contemporary, almost to a fault. Let's start from the center and work our way out, a little opposite of the way we usually do things. You can see the hands are Laurent Ferrier's signature Asagai or spear-styled hands. Light, flared, and dynamic, they appear to be thrusting outward. They have a more tangible sense of tension and energy to them than you'll find on Alphas, Dauphines, or Baton. Now each one of the applied indices appears to be dramatically thrusting inward, overstriding the hour track with its cyan intermediate minutes to move onto the periphery of the center raised dial. It's all of matte blue, so dark, one might say formal, but also thanks to the coloration, a little bit of a sporty flair. This is somewhere between a traditional dress watch and a sports watch in character, even though with snap case back and no luminescence, it's a formal watch in substance. Now the watch does feature a nice anchor at six o'clock in the form of a countersunk sector style quadrant small seconds dial. You'll also note that the watch features a 24 hour time scale at nine o'clock. Now that's your reference time, that's the time where you are not, and there's an aperture for the date at three o'clock. Now the date is driven by the time at center, and it can be quick set as well. You have the ability to quick set the date, and I'll jump to the intermediate crown position. You can quick set the date in either direction, which is a useful refinement that should be universal on luxury watches. You set the center hour hand using the pusher adjusters on the nine o'clock side, and then when you pull the crown to extremity, you set the time at center as well as the reference time in sync. So what's on the case spec? Well, I'm glad you asked, because this is where it starts to get really fun. We're looking at the Laurent Ferrier Manufacture Micro Rotor Automatic Caliber LF230.01. Automatic with a robust 80 hour power reserve, 44 joules, a 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate, a rugged free sprung balance assembly. It's quite simply beautiful. The interior angles of the skeletonized balance cock are sharp, cleft, 
beautiful and mirrored with no flaws. And, and those aren't even the only interior angles you'll see in the movement. All of the anglage is fat and broad. Now, there are a couple of different ways to do mirrored anglage at the edge of a bridge. Some is almost hairline narrow, and you need to see it and appreciate it with a loop. Here, you can see the glowing rounded edges of the bridge featuring the individual train jewels leading down from the center wheel, and it's spectacular. You don't even need a loop to appreciate it. You can see that the Cote de Genève across the bridge is richly textured and a beautiful barley corn guilloche on the micro rotor winding mass itself with beautiful ratchets to prevent, or rather to enact reversing. Now you can see that the balance bridge itself is all of black polish. So is the cock for the, the balance. I should say not the balance bridge, but the micro rotor bridge is all black polished. So is the skeletonized balance cock. All of the screw heads are polished with their slots chamfered. This is as good as it gets, and you can't even see what might be the engineering highlight of the entire movement, and that's the double direct impulse natural escapement and ultra high efficiency direct impulse style escapement. This allows the watch to both transmit more of the mainspring barrel's energy and also run more precisely. This is an innovation that would be exceptional in a major manufacturer. To see it done by a micro manufacturer such as Laurent Ferrier is downright stunning. Everything about this watch from the engineering to the aesthetics is innovative, bold, and successful. There are some brands and some micro manufacturers and even some large houses with large steering committees and focus groups that go out on a limb, manage to expend a huge amount of energy and somehow fail to create a compelling and innovative timepiece. Laurent Ferrier with minimal resources and a skeleton crew has done something outstanding, memorable and with a dual time complication, supremely practical. You can see and you can purchase this Laurent Ferrier Galley Traveler dual time travel watch on our website.